Hey up sports fans and welcome to Road Rules. This off season, the Santa Cruz Syndicate headed down to the Southern Hemisphere to chase the endless summer dream. To spice things up along the road, we decided to split the Syndicate into two teams for a series of head to head and elbow to elbow challenges throughout their tour down under. It's all to play for and the best thing is the winning team not only gets bragging rights for the season, but also an all expenses paid trip out to Japan. Time to hit the road. Queenstown, the so-called adventure capital of the world and the first stop in our Southern Hemisphere journey. For Greg, Gazzy B and I, we'd be missing the first leg of the trip and holding down the fort back home. But for the rest of the syndicate, it was a chance to get loose for a while. Lay down some hot laps up on Skyline and swing a leg over our new V10. Once the dust and headaches had settled, it was time for the riders to split up and get into their teams, ready for the first road rules challenge. Time to turn the clocks back 20 years, race fans. Hey guys, uh, my name's Pang. Um, I'm one of the owners of Vertical Bikes in Queenstown. I'm here to have a look at some of the old bike collection which I've got because I used to race from about 1997 back in Scotland. I raced World Cups for three or four years in the early 2000s as well. So in that sort of heyday when sort of the bike technology was just all over the place. You just try to survive to get down the hill, but it was good fun at the time. Um, so I've got a bit of a collection of sort of bikes from that era. It sounds noisy. I've got a treat for you, boy. This bike, that's what we're going to be riding today. No way! What on earth? I do believe this is the same age as you. 2004? Yeah, <laughs> around about then. Maybe a little bit older, maybe like a year exactly. older. So this is a Lahar. So this was a New Zealand brand. Um, yeah, Kiwi made bike, high pivot gearbox bike. Actually like really ahead of its time. Well, apparently the guy that designed and owned the company and, owned the, and designed the bikes put one of his pubic hairs in every frame that he made. So, so the rumor is cool, so. Okay, where is it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, box suspension, front and back, Shimano yeah, brakes, Shimano it's brakes. basically going to be exactly the same, so. Oh. <laughs> so bad. With the New Zealand crown jewel in their possession, each rider will be heading up to the Skyline Gondola to throw down a hot lap for their team. There's bonus points up for grabs by throwing in tricks along the way, with the fastest combined time taking the points. One bike, one race run, and no modifications allowed. Game on. Three, two, one, go. Severe back pain. Hard for like a techno hander. Oh, I just went one hand <laughs> and then like grabbed the front brake and almost lost it. Oh, really? Three, two, one, go! Concerning with the GoPro on your face. Oh. I think we've gone wrong. Poor course marking, I'd say. Technically, I should be rewarded a point for the effort I've put coming back up the fire road. Yeah, this thing's, this thing's another level, Mac 10 and some. Oh, 
420, blaze it. Three, two, one, go. Oh, we had a dicey moment. Look at the 26 go. It's actually sick, but it's like doing a wall sit for six minutes. But like they actually hit the bar. Oh, scheiße. Ah, scheiße. Ah, okay. Yeah, I, I run over the arrow. <laughs> You are so like cramped and tensioned on the bike because you're so scared. And it breaks. This is the worst. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Quite hard pedal. He's done about 15 practice laps today. He's been walking the course, he's been stretching, he's taking it rather seriously. So um, the pressure's really on here, Ethan. Yo! <laughs> Absolute machine. I was having so much fun, I was just so tired. Oh, the seat just hit me in the knackers. Quite helpful of the brakes there, anyway. Oh. <laughs> Coming through with a 342, how was that? That was sick! Excellent. It rides mint! Excellent. That was so much fun! Life was a dream, man. Drive your race run in three words. Holy fucking shit. <laughs>
before pinning it down the first half of original and tagging Nina and Woody to start their sprint for the line. Russ Paver, our man on the ground, will be waiting with some much needed recovery fuel and some quick fire trivia questions before they can finish. And one last thing, very polite of you all not to ask why I'm dressed as Liz, as a chicken. So there's a couple of bonus points up for grabs. So I just rummage around in here. <laughs> okay, so we got a couple of eggs. I'm pretty fond of these guys. They're gonna go into be beautiful hens. If it arrives in one piece at the end, then you get plus 50 points. And you're a little bit closer to going to Japan. All right, riders ready. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, it's competitive off the get go. See ya. Laws is taking a blistering lead off the start. I'm not enjoying this. Femina. Femina. How's it going? A party. Lekker brew. That's not what he told me to say. I don't know if I should say it. <laughs> Where's your wheat mix? Wheat mix, wheat mix. Oh, God. Wheat mix. Oh, my ass will go. There's no way you're drinking that. For oh, sake. I can't do it. I can't do it. Can you swallow? I'm gone. Get him. Oh, you bastard. He took my battery out of my gears. He's <laughs> got no gears. <laughs> oh, no. Down the hatch, down the hatch. Yep, oh, there it is. Let's go. That was oh, more than four minutes. Horrendous. Left hand throw only. Practice is not going well. I can't change gear. Do it that way. I'll run you over. <laughs> My egg in here. No, no egg. No egg. Oh. Oh, oh, Get away from that pipe. Oh. There you go. Oi. Riding with an egg in your pocket is not that great. I reckon it's going to be Husky, yeah, which I is think, I think it's Husky. We're trying to figure out because we're the last relay, eh, so. And then and, Ethan uh, is going to suck on the dog. Yeah. That was terrible. Wow, my God. <laughs> Have you got an egg or not? All right, so I'll just spin around this thing. Throw on. <laughs> you need the egg. I'm going to put this in your trousers. Wait, Stephen. Put this in the sock. No, 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 no. What the fuck is he doing with my bike? He threw loads of rocks at the side. And then I hit it with one singular rock was specified. Mm -hmm. Well done, you did a right hand throw. No. Oh, the brawls get bent for the friends, don't they? You gotta eat this pie first. Oh, Woody's really cramming it in there. Meat, is it meat in there? Woody? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the race to go. Okay, what, how many stars does a New Zealand flag have on it? How oh, many? <coughs> how many, yeah. No. Four, 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 yeah. four, 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 sure. Yeah, four, Nina takes it home. Yeah, take it. Boom! <laughs> I had to eat meat in a pie. It's all right. It was a hell of a race. We had sabotage. We had a quick roll reversal at the change there with Woody coming down first, but failing on the pie front. That means Team B, you take out 100 points for winning the race and 50 extra for your egg arriving intact. Team A, you got nutter. Absolutely crushed it. I think we're at like 200. Right. We're like 30 we're on. Thanks for tuning in, folks. That's all from Queenstown. But for now, it's time for me to pack my bags slap on the sunscreen and meet the crew over at Medina Bike Park in Tasmania. See you next time. Next time on Road Rules. <laughs> Uncle Steve's back is as competitive as they come. Japan is getting closer. <laughs>